Oh, man. Jamal Charlo. He facing three counts of felony robbery. Man, you, you're... Come on, man. I just saw this thing, dude. World champion boxer Jamal Charlo turned himself into authorities in Bexar County Wednesday morning, weeks after San Antonio police issued multiple felony robbery warrants against him. Charlo, 31 years old, was booked at a satellite office at the Bexar County Courthouse just before 10 a.m. and released on bond about a half hour later. Charlo's attorney Wednesday afternoon pushed back on the charges claiming SAPD moved forward with the case in an attempt to embarrass his client. On July 16th, San Antonio police responded to the Privet Martini Bar and Social Club located in the 5100 block of UTSA Boulevard. After receiving a call around 2 a.m., the Charlo had assaulted a waiter and taken off with her tips. With her tips! According to an SAPD incident report released Wednesday. The incident happened after a credit card Charlo attempted to use to pay his tab was repeatedly declined, the report states. After Charlo... Come on, man. You... You gonna take the tips from the waitress? Oh, and then you and then your card declines, and you're like, oh, well, let me get that. C come on, man. After Charlo accused the waiter of trying to steal his credit card, Charlo grabbed two black waiter books, removing his identification from one and cash from another, according to a warrant for his arrest. Ah. And then it says Charlo and the members of his group then pushed their way out of the building and left the location in a limousine bus, according to the warrant. So they were like, man, give me that. And then we out. <laughs> a waitress suffered a lower leg injury after a member of Charlo's group stepped on her as they left. SAPD detectives issued three second degree warrants for robbery against Charlo August 7th court records show Charlo is a world champion middleweight boxer with a record of 32 0 and 0 whose most recent fight was a victory in his native Houston in June against Juan Macias Macias Montiel ah man all right it even gets it gets deeper it gets deeper it says Jamal Charlo's attorney, Kent A. Schaefer, said via email Wednesday afternoon that his client did not take any property belonging to anyone else. So he's like, man, that ain't even happened. I represent Jamal Charlo, and I, I just saw your story regarding his case. I want to make clear that Jam Jamal stole no money from anyone at the club and made no threats toward anyone. When they ran his card, it was declined, and he then received a fraud alert from Chase Bank asking if he had made the charge. He responded yes, and they told him to have the charge submitted again. The waitress went to run it again and came back saying she could not find the card. Jamal was upset, understandably so, that his card was missing since it was a debit card. Bro, what are you doing with the debit card? And you were like, a anyway, since it was a debit card tied to an account with a substantial amount of money, the waitress had his license sticking out of a portfolio and he took his license back saying that he didn't want her to lose that too. By this time, many club employees were gathering in the hallway. So Jamal's handlers wanted to get him out of the club before trouble started because them Charlos always about that trouble. <laughs> and a club employee walked Jamal out of the car, out of his car, or out to his car. Pardon me. Hours later, Jamal's assistant made a contact with the club to give them another credit card number, but the club refused to accept it. Over the last few weeks, we have talked to the police, prosecutors, and the club owner, and although 
The club owner expressed his desire to, to drop the charges. The officer insisted on filing charges to try to embarrass Jamal. At no time did he rob anyone or take any property other than his own. <sighs> Number one, you a multimillionaire and you messing with debit cards. You know what I'm saying? With a debit card. Hey, look, that already is a red flag. Second, bro, really? I mean, it's just, you at a club, <sighs> whatever. I mean, it's just it's just easy to just pay it if it didn't work out. But there, see, the Charlos are always on a hundred all the time. Like they go from zero to a hundred all the time. <laughs> like, that's that's the only thing that I'm tripping out about this because I know that I mean everything's gonna be fine. But they got these guys. I mean, his crew around him was probably like, bro, we need to get out of here because you know. Jamal is going to go crazy, which he always does. I don't get this. I don't understand these boys, like both of them. Crazy. Anyway, uh, what y'all think? <laughs> this is crazy news, man. Out the blue. Out the blue. Anyway, yeah, it's just like, you know, look at that crap. World champion boxer face. Look at that. Look at, oh, they got my, they got my boy, man. They got him. Ah, uh, he had to turn himself in and stuff like that. They're just trying to embarrass my dude. Anyway, you know, we riding with the Charlos all day, but they still all, both of them always got that attitude. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Just relax, relax, keep fighting and relax. Y'all millionaires now, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that being said, hey, we done. We, we out of here. This was a crazy story. It came out of the blue. It's like six hours ago. So with that being said, peace, one love, and oh, we out of here. Ah.